even though my face is already clean, I washed it, I always like to use a makeup wipe just in case, you know, I forgot to clean off something or, you know, residue mascara, all of that around my face or on my face. <laughs> So now I'm going to use PHB Anti-Blemish Treatment Gel. Um, I love to use this uh, on pimples that are just coming up and since, you know, it was that time of the month. <laughs> you could apply it all over your face, but I just like to apply it on the areas where I need it. You know, pimples, um, just blemishes, mainly for pimples, you know. So once my skin took in that anti-blemishing treatment gel, I'm going to use another product from PHB and it's the Balancing Moisturizer. This one is for oily skin and I have oily skin so I'm going to need this. <laughs> so you only need like the tiniest bit for your entire face and oh, it smells like lavender, really nice. So just little dots all over my skin because you really only need that much and then I'm softly gonna massage it in also under my eyes oh this feels good Again, my skin has taken in the moisturizer. I always let it set for a little while and then I continue with the next step. Foundation that I'm going to use today is from Sleek. This is the New Skin Revive uh, silicone based foundation. I was really scared to try this foundation at first when I first tried it, you know, silicone based foundation. I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to feel greasy or something like it. But no, actually, I really do like how it feels on my skin. And I'm going to use the color Russet. And I'm going to apply the foundation with a Real Techniques Retractable Kabuki Brush. So now my foundation is set, or my skin has taken it in. I find that it's too dark, I don't like the look of it, so I'm gonna highlight slash conceal at the same time. And I'm gonna use a It's Your Face Cosmetics Paramedical Camouflage Foundation in Caramel Cream or Creme. I'm gonna leave that below in the information box, just like everything else. And I will be applying that with a Beauty Blender sponge, a damp one. Obviously, you can use whatever you have. So while my foundation is still settling in, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. To save some time, I already did one eyebrow off camera and now I'm gonna do the next so one. So I don't like the effect of brown eyebrows. So that's why I chose this combination of products. So next I'm going to set my foundation and I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. Yes, this shade of the powder actually works for me. Um, the Luxury Powders uh, come in different shades so you don't have to use the Banana Powder. They are all formulated the same way, only, well, the colors are different. So, And this one happens to work for me. Or you can just use whatever you have. on top of my brow 
softly. So now I'm gonna leave this for what it is. Once the powder has set, I'm gonna use the excess powder to mattify the rest of my face. That with a MAC 120 brush. So now for the eyes, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in Dark and I will be applying that with a 224 taper blending brush also from MAC. And all I'm going to do is apply this first in my crease and then windshield wiper motion it <laughs> up to my brow bone area. It matches more with my uh, foundation that I applied all over my face. So I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm going to use the It's Your Face Cosmetics Fiji Baked Bronzing Powder. I'm just gonna apply that with my ring finger, softly on the inner corners, just a little bit. the lid also then for the next part I'm going to line my other eye now you can see the difference I just followed the shape of my eye there not a winged eyeliner at all just a tiny line as close to my lashes as possible and I'm gonna use the diamond effects black eyeshadow again with a angled eyeliner brush from MAC. Softly following the shape of my eye there. So as you can see, I already applied a false lash. It's the Demi Wispies one from Ardell. And I'm going to apply the other one on camera. Okay, so that was it for the eye part. I'm quickly gonna change my clothes and then I will be right back. So instead of contouring my face, I'm going to bronze my face. And I'm going to use that same Fiji Baked Bronzing Powder from uh, It's Your Face Cosmetics I used before on my eyes. And I will be applying that with another 120 brush from MAC. And now for my blush, I'm going to use a mineralized blush from MAC, which is called Lovejoy. And I'm going to apply it with a 116 brush from MAC. Just circular motions, like that. And softly blend it up a bit. And now for my lipstick, I'm going to use a NYX or NYX lipstick, and this one is called Mars. And I'm going to top it off with a NYX slash NYX <laughs> Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Candy Shop. And that is it for the look. So yeah, this is one of my daily looks basically if I don't know what to do with makeup or if I'm in a hurry or whatsoever this is what I will actually wear obviously I will change my lip color you know if I feel like something else but the majority of the look you know with the lashes and the foundation that is what I do on a daily basis uh, I really hope you enjoyed it and yeah that was it for the look you guys thank you so much for watching and obviously until the next video bye